Hello, and welcome to the Small Grants Program of Kenya, supported by the Global Environment Facility and implemented by the United Nations Development Program. In this short photo documentary, we will be sharing with you the story of the Sagana Women's Fish Farming Project, one of our many successful community-based conservation projects around the Mount Kenya World Heritage Site. The nation of Kenya lies in East Africa and straddles the equator. Mount Kenya, located in the geographical center of the country, is approximately 200 kilometers northeast of the capital city of Nairobi. Its jagged peaks reach up to 5,199 meters above sea level, making it the second tallest mountain in Africa. The mountain was gazetted as a national park in 1949 and contains a wealth of stunning landscapes. Mount Kenya is home to a diverse variety of plant and animal life, including several endemic species of plants, such as the giant lobelia and ground cell cabbage, that are found only here and on the slopes of Mount Kilimanjaro to the south. The ecosystem is also home to rare and endangered fauna species, including the mountain bongo antelope. As a result of its impressive landscapes and outstanding natural processes, Mount Kenya National Park and the surrounding forest reserve were designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997. However, in recent decades, the Mount Kenya World Heritage Site has experienced considerable environmental degradation due to overexploitation of resources, such as timber for use as fuel wood and construction materials. Land degradation has also occurred as forests are cleared to make way for agricultural land and pollution of land and river water has occurred as a result of the lack of proper sanitation and waste disposal facilities. Since 2001, the Community Management of Protected Areas Conservation Initiative, Compact, has been working to address these threats and improve livelihoods through the support of over 70 community-based conservation projects around Mount Kenya. Through joint participatory planning sessions between the local staff and the communities, priorities for intervention were identified. The Sagana Women's Fish and Beekeeping Group, who are located on the southern side of Mount Kenya, have partnered with the Small Grants Program to start a community-based conservation enterprise. The objective of the project was to engage the local communities, most of whom are former squatters, in conservation work. This was accomplished through the raising of indigenous tree seedlings for use in rehabilitating degraded parts of the nearby forest. The project also aimed to expand and upgrade the group's communal fish farming enterprise to improve the livelihoods of group members. And to establish a training center for other community groups to learn practical skills related to fish farming enterprises and participatory forest management. GEF SGP provided support to the project in the form of a grant amounting to 49,091 US dollars, as well as technical support and monitoring assistance. And the local community contributed 22,184 US dollars in cash and kind, with the majority of those contributions directed towards predator proofing of the fish ponds and labor contribution during construction. Through the combined efforts of the Sagana Women's Group and Compact, the project has planted 60,000 trees as an effort to rehabilitate the degraded areas in the southwest Mount Kenya forest. This has also helped to rehabilitate the water catchment, ensuring a supply of clean water that is necessary for the survival of the fish farm. The group has also expanded their fish stock from 600 to 32,000 annually over the last five years through the expansion and upgrading of their fish ponds. The profits from the sale of the fish have been shared out with 50% being reinvested to support the group's conservation activities, with the remainder being divided among the member households as a dividend. The community training center has been put up and has already hosted more than 20 training seminars and community meetings for matters related to environmental conservation or fish farming. In the coming months and years, 
The Sagano Women's Group will continue to reinvest a large percentage of the profits from their fish farming enterprise in environmental conservation activities that protect the surrounding forest, which will also help to ensure the long-term viability of the enterprise. They are also mentoring other community groups living around the World Heritage Site in adoption of fish farming as a viable conservation enterprise. This is through practical training workshops held at their facility. The group will also be involved in current and future efforts to integrate fish farming into the National Poverty Alleviation Policy as an economic empowerment enterprise.